Margaret? What's going on? Help! Hello, Arson. I want to play a game. In the past seven years, your life has changed dramatically. The night your friend died, you blamed yourself for accidentally causing his death by giving him various sedatives. The legal system pointed you as guilty until proven innocent. But even though you knew it was an accident, all these years you have seen yourself as a killer, living day by day depressed and leaving behind your grand dream to become an architect. Tonight I will give you a chance to let go of that weight of guilt you've been carrying and walk you to a new start. You will have to walk across the glass in front of you, but you must do it carefully. Any bad step could cause the glass to break and make you fall to your death, especially with the six weights on your back. Not to worry, the four buttons hanging will release each weight thus making your journey easier, but with the price to pay each time you decide to use them. You have 90 seconds to complete this test, or you will spend the rest of your days locked in this room. Live or die. Make your choice. Please don't do this to me. Someone help! No! No! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's been more than four days, so I'm sure it's gonna happen. It's at the end over here. He really 
really did it, Lieutenant. We're gonna catch this fucker before he does anything else. We could just do as he says. <sighs> no, that would jeopardize the future of our party. Hey, we got something over here. Careful, Livingston. Officer Livingston, you are the second piece of this puzzle of corruption. In the past year alone, you have arrested more than three people for no reason other than to suck their money out with excessive tickets. Last month, a mother of four struggled to feed her kids when she was forced to pay a traffic ticket in a very limited time. A ticket so high for her budget. A ticket given by you. You said she was ignoring you when she kept her attention at her ill baby on the back seat. But yet in court, she remembered every single word you said. But of course, being a so-called trustworthy officer, the judge took your side of the story. And that woman today is still paying for your injustice. Your task is to write a check for $15,000 and give it to that woman. Then you must make a public appearance, including reporters and citizens, and tell everyone the reason of why you're doing that act of kindness.